All right, I'm just gonna, um, I'm not gonna really do like super hardcore edit this video because I'm trying to make um, a little quick video to help one of my friends who's brand new to mod modeling do length to length tracks. His first, his first kit he chose to pick the trumpeter, which if you are have been around for modeling in a long time, you know what trumpeter is. No, that is a pretty bad idea to introduce trumpeter as a beginning kit, but. His next kit, his next kit that he wants to try to put together involves some wool individual tracks. So we're just gonna start get started with this tutorial. Don't want it to take too long. Camera's kind of blurry because the case is still on. I don't want to take it off. It's five in the morning and my hands are covered in pasta oil because there's a hole in the bottom of the box I decided to microwave. But yeah, so you just want to cut out your tracks here and. Basically what you want to do is you want to after you take a rather large amount of track whatever the direction say like if the direction said 40 you take 40 of these and glue them together then take your Tamiya glue Put it together put little dabs here and there a little dab in here Then you take your track And then put it in here now if your track has like a special pattern like maybe like one horn for every track it goes like one horn one non horn keep true that pattern but basically you just want to build this up until you get it to the amount of tracks you needed some tracks they include this flat piece and what this flat piece does is basically saves some time some effort some tracks include really long pieces which go on the bottom but these length these little one piece length ones normally like wrap around dry sprockets if your dry sprocket is detachable most of my kits are detachable uh, you can use these dry sprockets as little bases for your wheels like you can hook this on to the bottom of here and get a good wrap around the back of this now I'm gonna glue a bunch of these together and wait for this to dry and we'll move on to the next step Alright, so after you put your whatever length your directions say to put on there, amount of length, and leave it to dry off a couple of minutes, you notice that this gets to a point where you can kind of bend it, but it's to the point where it won't fall apart when you pick it up. Now, you want to start with the dry sprocket, and if your dry sprocket is removable, please remove it. Now, obviously, your flat pieces, they have this, you want to run this the dry sprocket. Your direction should have some sort of diagram as to what you should actually do with this. It's also important to be mindful for the track directions. Some tracks don't have certain directions, like I know some Sherman tracks don't, but a lot of tracks do. So if you like doing a tie, you want to make sure that the ice cleat is on the front, not the back. You just want to be mindful of the direction, so you put that on there. You don't glue it onto the sprocket yet. Make sure this is flipped the right direction. And you want to wrap this around. Alright. Nice and soft. Now you can go to your model. And you can fit this on there. Now if you don't know how to do your track shag, I'd recommend that you please take a look at your box. And just ignore what I'm doing right here while I try to fit this on here. Alright, there you go. If you're trying to figure out how you do your track shag and your hull... And your hole doesn't separate, or it did separate, and you decide to glue it together. Have no fear. If you're trying to do a track sag and need some reference, just look at the box or some direction somewhere. Just Google tanker building. If you don't know what tanker building, what's wrong with you? But if you want to do some track sag in there and you can't exactly reach in there, I know on tigers without side skirts, it's really easy to do this with like your finger. But if you have like really tight up skirts, you just take a toothpick and kind of bend it want you take another toothpick kind of bend it this way not too much though because it looks unnatural and you get a nice wave and you accidentally break off a piece because it's five in the morning you're not really looking at what you're doing but you get a kind of nice piece of track sag obviously if you were actually building this model you'd have a nice really long piece here some individual pieces between here and there and you'd have this going all the way around and eventually with this effect you'll get something like this if I go grab my 
other Russian tech. Oh, there goes the guy. Come back here. But eventually you get this track side. These are all individual tracks. We'll get it nice and wrapped around. It's the shape of whatever your tracks are supposed to be. If you're working on a Tiger, it's a lot more simple because they just curve up kind of like curve back around. Now don't actually glue the piece of the track together. You want to get it so where you can, after they're done drawing, you take in the shape of or whatever you want it to. You can easily pull this out and get the dry socket. Now I didn't glue this flat piece on there so I can just take that off. We want to get to a point where we can easily just remove the dry sprocket. And after it's not all nice, dry, and hard, you can go ahead and paint this, reattach it to the model, and actually glue the two ends together so it's all nice and straight. So yeah, that's basically my lazy 5 in the morning tutorial on how to do individual track pieces. But yeah, just go ahead and like do that with whatever tank you're doing. And just be mindful of the directions too. Now it should be kind of obvious, but that tutorial was kind of half because normally drawing uh, pieces like that or that many pieces at once usually just takes like more than two minutes of looking at a camera and eating beef jerky, waiting for the sun to come up. But obviously when you have the um, actual track on the tank, you want to leave them there and let them dry and let them set really well so when you move them to come out nice and hard. But yeah, just, just be careful with what you're doing, you should be good.